are you working on entity framework and want to know how to write the query in entity framework so this video is for you in this video i'm going to tell you about how the link query you can write so we having the two methods to write the link query and the most important is the people are not aware of how the link query is going to execute it so when it is coming to optimize the query without understanding the execution process of link query you cannot optimize it then after that we start blaming the entity framework is slow so the issue is not entity framework is slow the issue is here we are not aware of how to create a dynamic query in link and how it is going to be executed so after referring this video you will have a clear understanding how the link query is going to be executed and that definitely will help you to optimize your link query if you are coming to this youtube channel first time i request you to please do subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon so let us started with the video a link query syntax so when you are writing your link query there are two ways which you can follow for writing your link queries now let's see what are these two ways so the link provides us two ways like query based syntax and method based syntax so the query based syntax is not exactly similar to the t sql but it looks like that way so you can see here when you are willing to fetch all the customers from the database so we can write the query here let's say from c so c is the alias name for the customers here then we are selecting here all the customers here so in the t sql also we write the similar style let's say select asterisk from customer we write this syntax the second one here we are having method based syntax so in the method based syntax there are a set of extension methods you can use to write the same query so we are having select method we are having where method we are having other methods also uh, which you can use to fetch the data and when this code is going to be executed by the c sharp so they are going to be compiled internally into the plain sql other plain sql will be executed at the database side and it in the list of customers so now let's see how we can use both these syntaxes with the help of link pad so this is my link pad where we written the last query so just do one thing just add a one more query window i'm just saving it here let's say on desktop and name it say let's say sql query let's say link sql query now here i can add a connection here with the sql server so this is a link to sql optimize for sql server then next then here define the server details so i'm using a sql server even you can make a connection with your sql azure also if you are having a database available on microsoft azure you can use that one even you can use here sql compact edition also so the link also providing us the sql compact edition database by default so i'm just using a sql server one so let me mention my server detail so let me find out the server detail so this is the server name let me copy here and mention here it is a sql server authentication username is sa and whatever the password you have mentioned in your local database then mention it then test the connection it's successfully tested now specify the database which you are willing to connect so here i'm already having a database link demo db this database sql script i will share with you so that you can generate the same database on a local machine to practice the similar script so i'm just connecting it here this database script i will share with you so that you can try on your machine also with the same queries so now here i'm going to write a query to fetch the list of customers from my customer table here so i'm just using a c sharp expression so it's a c sharp expression so i'm just using let's say from first we need here from so it would be let's say from then i'm using a c in customers then here you can define the where condition here if you are want to apply a filter so right now i'm not putting any filter i'm just going to select all the customers here so select c now just execute it okay 
it is giving the error here the reason is here i have not selected any connection here so make sure you have selected the connection here link demo db now execute it so now you can see here i'm getting the data here for my customer so properly it is giving the data if you want to apply a filter so filter i can apply here let's say where uh, c dot c dot city equal to then mention the city name here let's say city name is here wordly this i'm defining and now execute it now it is returning only one customer which belongs to the city berlin so this is the way how we have applied the filter and here if you will see i'm getting all the columns in my customer table if you are willing to get only few columns from the customer so the same query can be changed here so let's see how can change the same query i can write here new then use here on the query c dot let's say company name so if you are having the link pad free edition so here intelligence will not work if you will have the paid edition so we will get the intelligence also let's say i'm getting here company name i'm getting here let's say customer id also customer id so these are the two columns i am willing to get now execute it now you can see i'm getting here only these two columns and the link pad also provide you one more benefit so this query we have written using the c sharp and the link syntax but the same query the sql server you can say the rdbms cannot understand because the rdbms can understand only t sql statement so what is happening here behind the scene behind the scene the sql statement is generated here this is the way so this sql statement is generated here and ultimately this statement is going to be executed in the sql server and it's returning the data to us so this is the way what the query you write in the link internally that is compiled into the plain sql that plain sql is executed in the sql server side and it return the output to us so this is happening here and the same query can be written here by using the method based syntax also so this is the query based syntax we have written here it is query based syntax let me comment this code and the same code i'm just going to write here using the method based syntax so in method there is a where method already and the where the same condition we can write here with the help of lambda expression so this is a lambda operator i'm using here and c is representing to this customer so c dot city equal to berlin i'm just mentioning a city name as berlin and here you don't need to mention any select statement if you are willing to fetch all the columns from the database so i'm just selecting this line and executing it you can see i'm getting here all the columns here but if you want to select few columns so there is option here select use the select method and what you are selecting here i'm selecting here let's say uh, new and the same way c dot customer id i'm selecting a c dot company name this is the way i'm going to select here link pad is very smart it will show you the error in red color if name is not matching so this way we have written here two method where and select now it is more clear so this is for filter purpose and this is for selection purpose now let's execute it to check how it is working so you can see i'm getting here only customer id i'm getting here only company name so both the syntaxes are fine both are giving the same result but this is here method based syntax so what are the syntax you like to follow you can follow it it doesn't mean like query based syntax is better and method based syntax is better there is no difference in terms of performance one of the syntax you can follow so usually people follow the query based syntax when they are writing the complex query let's say when they are 
writing the query for joining that more than two tables and when they are fetching the data only from one table they usually prefer the method will syntax a link query execution so what are the link query you write now let's understand how that query is going to be executed by the link here so every query is executed here by two ways like here it is a default execution it's a immediate execution so let's understand how the default execution works and how the immediate execution work here so when you're talking about the default execution so default means later on it means query would not be executed immediately wherever you have written the query would be executed whenever you will use the query variable so let's say if you have written a query let's say from c in customers and select c and now let's say this query you are assigning to a variable let's say where q equal to so in the q variable you will not get the result the result you will get when actually you will use that q variable so that q variable you can use for displaying the data using a for loop or you can actually call here on the queue variable let's say to list method so that time that query would be executed and when i'm talking about the immediate execution so in immediate execution query would be executed immediately so if this query you have assigned to a variable let's say where q equal to so in the queue variable you will get all the customers available in the database so it is going to be executed in the same statement so here the default execution query result set is stored as a in memory of the variable but in case of deferred execution the result is not stored in the variable it always return the real time data from the database so whenever you will use that query variable that time whatever the data you would have in the database it will return that actual data but in case of immediate execution whatever the data is available that time when this query is executed it will return and is stored to that variable after that variable you can use as a local like in memory data source for doing the further manipulation now let's see how the things are working here so we already having a connection with the sql database and we are we have queried here customer table last time so this is a deferred execution query because it's not going to execute it immediately so right now it's a it's a expression based syntax let me convert this these two queries into the statement so what i'm doing here i'm just going to copy this query and just putting here at this time i'm using here the statement and make sure you have selected the connection also i'm just assigning this value to a query variable q this way and save it here let's say a link query execution so here in this q you will get only the generated sql here so it will compile to this line but it will not be executed it would be executed when i will use this q variable let's say i'm using this q variable using the for each statement let's say where item in q now i can console its output console dot right line i'm using here item this way to see the result let's execute it but make sure we are just getting an object so object value we need to return here we need to print here let's say company name so object value i'm just consoling here let's say this way now execute i'm getting here this is the name of the company where this customer belongs so this is the way the, here at this point the query is going to be executed so it is a deferred execution query if you want to understand here it say deferred execution so it will not contain the result set in the line number 2 the result set it will contain when this line number 5 would be executed so this is the point where 
the query execution would be done. So you should use the default execution syntax whenever you want to get always real time data from your query and even whenever you are willing to reuse the same query again and again because it always gives the real time data it is not storing anything in the queue variable so always whenever you will use this queue variable it gives you the actual data available that time in the database so it also increasing the, the reusability of the query to provide the real time data so this is the use case where you should use default execution but sometime it happens we don't want to reuse the query because we are not willing to get the real time data because our data is not going to be changed so we just need to get the data one time and after that we need to use that variable again and again so that time uh, what we need to do here we need to explicitly execute this query by calling the method so you can call here a method let's say dot to list you can call here a method dot to array so after calling these two methods uh, what we are doing uh, we are forcing this query expression to execute immediately to be converted into the list type so whenever you are calling the method dot to list dot to array the query would be executed immediately so this is the immediate execution of the same query so now query is already executed so here you will get only the stored data in this queue variable now let's see i am getting the same output so output would be same the difference would be here only how you are using this queue variable so for query reusability default execution syntax should follow for storing the result set you should use immediate execution now the question is here how to know whether the query is going to execute it immediately or not so this can be understand with the help of link to query operators so if you are using the conversion operators or like aggregate operators then your query would be executed immediately so these are the conversion operator let's say cast to list to array to dictionary as enumerable and the aggregator operators are aggregate average count sum min max if one of the operator you are using while writing your link query so it would be the immediate execution of your query if you are not using these operators then your link query would be executed in deferred way so query execution is very important when you are going to apply so many condition while writing the query so my suggestion is here when you are putting so many filters on your query so make sure you have written your query in deferred execution way don't follow the immediate execution in that case otherwise the filtration would be done in your application program memory so filtration should be on the server side not in the application program memory so that time the deferred execution query will help you so this is about the deferred execution and immediate execution you should know